skills that kind of equate to that sort of hand eye coordination? Uh, pretty good. Uh, not, I wouldn't say a good jump, do not have a good jump shot. Never played basketball. I was a wrestler uh, growing up, so never played basketball, but pretty good ping pong player. So maybe there's some correlation there with uh, hand eye coordination. Who knows? What does the, the Pro Bowl vote mean to you um, at this stage in your career? I know I guess you lead the league in tackles. You know, at, at the end of the day, I mean, if, if that were to be something that, that happens, you know, great. But at the same time, I, I'm just here to, to do my job each and every day. And whether I get recognized for that, you know, at that level or not, that doesn't that doesn't really uh, bother me. I don't put a whole lot of en energy and effort into that. That's something that I can't control. You know, all I can really control is, uh, you know, my, my preparation and training, film study on the field, off the field each and every week to, uh, you know, to be here to do a job for this team and for my teammates. And um, if accolades and things like that come, great. But if not, you know, I I'm just as happy doing my job and, and going under the radar uh, as I would be the other way. You mentioned under the radar. I wonder if you have some sort of men specific mental process to deal with the pressure because it's one of those spots where you're only noticed if you make a mistake. It's going to come in a critical moment. I mean, it it's like all of the risk and none of the reward in some ways. Do you try to deal with that in a specific way? Well, I think a lot of that gets back to your preparation and your training. I mean, you, you, you come out here each and every day, you know, during the season and you're practicing your craft and you're trying to become as, you know, efficient and, you know, as, as possible with, with, with your job. I mean, the same way any other guy out here is doing. And so in those pressure moments, whether that's, you know, the end of a game or the beginning of a game, you know, you, you got a job to do and you just got to trust and rely on the training and the time that you've put in uh, and go out there and, and fall back on that. You know, it's something that I've done so many times and it's, uh, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I would say that I'm more nervous when I'm standing over like a three foot putt, you know, on, on 18 to, to, you know, make it maybe, you know, r make a run at my lowest score than I would be snapping a ball because, I mean, I, I've just, you know, it's, it's something that I, that I know and that I trust and uh, something that, you know, I, I've done for a long time now that, um, you know, you just kind of learn to, to do it. Have you ever done back of the math and math on number of reps? Have you practice reps? Gosh, you know, I, I probably have, I mean, it's been a long time, but if I had to guess from the time I've started my career here, I mean, it's got to be in the hundreds of thousands, you know, I, I, I don't want to say a million, that's a lot, but it's, it, yeah, it's, it's, I'll have to get back to you on that one. It's, uh, it'd probably be a lot though. The opportunity, and I know you, I assume you were taking the opportunity, but the opportunity to be close to home, what's that been like? Oh, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. I mean, growing up here in Georgia, uh, getting a chance, like you said, getting a chance to play anywhere at this level is fantastic, but to be able to stay close to home, close to family, close to my friends, uh, you know, I really couldn't ask for, for a better situation. And so to be able to, uh, to make a career, you know, out of playing a, a kid's game, you know, and especially pretty obscure position to have those stars aligned to, to stay, you know, at, and close to my hometown, you know, has made it that much more special. Any of your teammates ever come over and say, let me see if I can do that? Yeah, and you know what? There's a lot of them that, that, can, that can do it, you know, or, 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 or well, you know, and I joke with guys all the time, you know, at, at this level, I mean, basically everybody that's on any of these NFL rosters, they were all at one point probably the greatest athlete, greatest player on the field for their given teams. And so the odds are they were one of the specialists at some point, whether they were punting or kicking or maybe snapping. Um, you know, Jake Matthews, he, he's, uh, he's really good at it. He even did it through, uh, through college. I mean, and his dad, Bruce, obviously, uh, you know, on top of a you know different 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 career, also was was a great snapper. Grady Jarrett is a good snapper as well. So um, there's a lot of guys that, uh, that 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 can snap it for sure. Thank you, Josh. That's all. I need. All right, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. Yep.